Are you going to do today's episode? Yeah. Hopefully. She better, because I got no content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bolus are goats. Copper bolus are goats. Not Ebola, Ebola. Not Ebola. Not Ebola, right? It's Ebola. One of the most important minerals a goat can have in their diet is copper. When a goat doesn't have enough copper, it affects everything from decreased immune functions and anemia to parasite infestations and reproductive issues. In this video, we're going to show you what to look for in copper deficiency and how to treat them. Hey. Do you have a duck egg, Grayson? Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. So today we're in the goat's barn and we have come to the realization that even though we feed a good free choice mineral and feed with copper in it, that our girls just aren't getting enough copper. Unfortunately, most soil is seriously lacking copper and giving a copper bolus along with the minerals and feed is needed. Also, we feed our girls alfalfa and alfalfa has molybdenum in it, which reduces the amount of copper that is absorbed in their system. Now that doesn't mean we need to not feed our girls alfalfa. It just means that we need to supplement them more copper than we would if they weren't eating alfalfa. A few signs we noticed is that Ginger is having a pretty good amount of hair loss around her eyes and both girls are getting what's called a fishtail. It's where the hair at the tip of their tail starts to separate, looking like a fishtail. You can also check a goat's eyelids periodically because the color can tell you a lot about their health. If you pull the lower eyelid down, you can check the color. If it's bright pink, that's a great sign. If it's pale or white, you know you have a problem with copper deficiency, parasites, or both. So we ordered our copper bolus online and we'll be administering that today. We went with the Ultra Cruise brand and I'll put a link in the description below where we got ours from. The capsules have a little copper rods inside so when it gets in their stomach, it dissolves the capsule and the rods actually embed in their rumen and stay there for a slow release for eight to 12 months. Your opal is hard, let's do it for stomach. <laughs> Come on, big girl. Come on. Come on, Oval. Let's do good today. So Ginger doesn't, she doesn't have the hair loss. She doesn't have the fishtail, right? She has the fishtail. Well, I can't tell. Maybe she has more hair loss. Turning the the copper color. Look at her. I just don't think so, Cal. She's like, whoa, I don't think so. I feel like it didn't go in her throat like it should have. Massage the throat? Yeah, so you massage their throat so it causes them to swallow the pill instead of leaving it in their mouth. Good job, Opal. Mouth. Do you feel... <laughs> Thanks for watching. We hope that was really helpful for you today looking and keeping your eye open for copper deficiency. Copper is that main important ingredient that a goat does need. So babe, great job today. That was awesome. Leave a comment below on how she did. She gets nervous about these, but she always does a good job in my opinion. So I know you like the feedback. Thanks babe. So how did chores go today? Were you actually able to get chores done or did you play with your new camera the whole time? We definitely got our chores done today. 
If you're on YouTube, hit that bell so you can get all the notifications when we release an adventure so you can follow along with us in our journey. Also, hit that subscribe, like our videos. If you're on Rumble, hit that Rumble, subscribe, and we'll see you right back here on the next adventure. Take good care. Ooh.